Stephen, the first deacon of the church, invited others to follow Jesus. He was persecuted by Saul, who later was converted to Christianity, and whom he knew as St. Paul. In the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Let Israel say, his steadfast love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his steadfast love endures forever. Let the stone, the stone that, that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen, full of grace and power, did great wonders and signs among the people. Then some of those who belonged to the synagogue of the freemen stood up and argued with Stephen. But they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which Stephen spoke. They, then they secretly instigated some men to say, We have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and against God. They set up false witnesses who said, This man never stopped saying things against this holy place and the law. When the council heard these things, they became enraged and ground their teeth at Stephen. Then they dragged him out of the city and began to stone him. And the witnesses laid their cloaks at the, wit at the feet of a young man named Saul. While they were stoning Stephen, he prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. When Stephen said this, he died, and Saul approved their killing of him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Think about this silently in your heart. Do we ever stone that is really hurt someone with our words or actions? Let us pray to God for our needs and the needs of others, our family, neighborhood, and the world. For each need we say, Lord, hear our prayer. For all believers who live in the strength and light of Christ's promised spirit, that they may speak boldly of the truth that frees. We pray, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all who continue to proclaim that Jesus Christ is risen from the dead, that we may always be ready to give a reason for the hope that is in us. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For all who suffer under the restrictions and sorrows caused by the coronavirus pandemic, may Christ's risen spirit inspire a sharing of medical and humanitarian humanitarian resources to foster the healing of all in anguish of body, mind, or spirit. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our elect and candidates who are ready to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit through initiation, may they also be ready to give a powerful response to those who ask about their faith. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faculty, staff, and students of the Franciscan School and all its benefactors, Inspired by the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, may we work to convince the world of God's abiding love for all. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. God of truth and justice, we pray that we may follow Jesus as St. Stephen did. Even when it was hard, he was faithful to your word. Help us to overcome challenges and to be true to you. We ask this in Christ's name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Your little hats. 
Uh, good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a great day. We have a very special week this week. On Wednesday, we will have our baccalaureate liturgy of the word, and we will have our commencement immediately following. It'll all be live streamed on the parish website and on the TFS Facebook page. Please um, join us at nine o'clock online to witness our uh, celebration of our eighth grade, our continuing celebration of our eighth grade. Uh, we have one birthday to celebrate today. In kindergarten, J.P. Setzer. Yeah, J.P. Yay! And what do we say to J.P. today? Happy, Happy birthday! birthday! Happy birthday! So let's close as we always do with the prayer before the cross. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Most high and glorious God. Enlighten the darkness of my heart, and give me a correct faith, a certain hope, a perfect charity, sense, and knowledge, so that I may carry out your holy and true command. St. Francis of Assisi, pray for us. St. Clair of Assisi, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Have a great Monday, and have a great week. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> ah! Christ is still risen! <laughs>